Hi guys, it's Kevin with Sunbright TV. Today we're going to show you how to install one of the coolest accessories we have, the Outdoor HD Wireless Transceiver. This awesome device will take a full HD video signal and wirelessly send it up to 100 feet away. Oh yeah, it can also be used to control your video source wirelessly too. So let's dive in and get it hooked up. Make sure you have all included parts listed in the manual, and let's gather up our tools for this install. We are only going to need a number two Phillips head screwdriver, our manual, and a video source with HDMI output, like a cable box or Blu-ray player. So let's get started. First, get your transmitter. It's the smaller of the two components, and it says transmitter. Take the transmitter and connect the six foot HDMI cable to the back. Plug the other end of the cable into your source device and turn it on. Now connect the AC cord into the back of the transmitter and plug the wall adapter into the wall outlet or power strip. You should see a green LED on the front of the transmitter marked power light up. Now let's get the receiver up and running. Flip the receiver over and remove the cover which is held on by a Phillips head screw. With the cover off, connect the 15 foot HDMI cable to the receiver and plug the other end into the TV. Now plug the AC power cord into the power input and plug the other end into the wall outlet. Let's go ahead and replace that cover, but before we do, we need to place these rubber gaskets on the cables and secure them into the grooves. Now we can replace the cover, aligning the grooves on it, to the cables. This will form a tight seal around the cables, protecting the receiver from the elements. With that completed, let's go back to the transmitter. We should see all three green LEDs on the front lit up. These lights are power, video, and link. The link light may take up to 60 seconds to come on. Once you have all the lights, go ahead and turn on your TV. You should see connecting to SBHDWT then your program should appear. Finally, let's hook up the IR blaster. Connect the eighth inch plug at the end of the IR blaster to the IR jack on the back of the transmitter. You should feel two clicks, which will tell you it is seated properly. Now locate the IR sensor on your source device by taking a flashlight and shining it at the shaded, transparent front display of your device. You should see a small circle or square just behind the plastic, usually to the side of the display. Once you find the sensor, peel off the adhesive backing on the IR blaster and stick it directly on the plastic window over the sensor. In order to use the IR receiver, you need to have line of sight to the IR window in front of the receiver. Keep that in mind when deciding where to place the receiver. Placing it directly behind the TV prevents you from controlling your device. Also remember that this is a wireless device that can be susceptible to wireless interference from things like too many Wi-Fi networks or cordless phones to physical interference from things like too many walls between the devices. It's always best to try a few locations if you can't get them to connect right away. Sometimes a simple move, a few inches, can make all the difference. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Kevin with Sunbright TV, and have a great day.